Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft, all the mods mod pack that I personally found on the Switch launcher. Okay, awesome, fantastic. We're going to kind of pick it where we left off. I haven't done anything besides check materials that I have, and then come back here and start recording. So we're going to pick up exactly where we left off, and we're going to make an empty capacitor bank. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it where I can utilize that power that I have, especially for this little machine right here. Um, we want to have some energy cells and stuff like that that I can ride into my house. That way I can have machines set up like on the second floor and first floor and all that good stuff. But right now let's get something to store the power. So we need to start first by getting some clay and cooking it. That sounds like a plan to me. We need clay, and we need to cook it. We don't need 41 clay. Let's try maybe um, 12. Let's try like 12. And put these back. We want to get some more clay. We'll work on that another time. Alright, so let's get some of the stuff that I don't need out of my inventory. But we need to cook this clay up. Uh, we'll just shove it in here and get some nice, lovely fuel. You know what I have? I have lava. So we'll lava this up. And that will be fantastic. We'll eventually get power furnaces, which is what we're kind of working towards. So in, in a roundabout way, we'll get it. Alright, we need some electrum. There we go. And we'll need to forge hammer that electrum. And the plates. Oh, how do we make plates? We can metal press it into plates. Or maybe we just wire cut it. Let's see. I need electrum wire, which needs electrum plates, which needs... I can use the engineer's hammer for that. Okay. It's kind of derpy. So we have, and I just burnt through that thing. It does not last. We'll eventually want to get um, the metal press quite soon, if I say so myself. So we want to get that soon. <laughs> we'll know that. For, we'll know that for the future. So we need this to be made with this. I could try to make what's this other little tiny hammer? An ember's hammer. Did I not make an ember's hammer? Maybe it wasn't in this particular mod pack that I made an ember's hammer. Hammer? So we need lead and iron and sticks. And it makes the ember's hammer. It was like this. No, not like that. It was like... I don't have any iron in my inventory. Let's see how this one works and how much its durability is wasted. So now we have the embers uh, tinker's hammer and it was like four of them across? Oh my goodness, four makes... wow. No, no, no. That's... that's it's infinite, but... Seven, eight, nine... Eleven, twelve. Wow, no. Mm -mm. I mean, it's got this infinite ability, the fact that it doesn't ever decay, but it takes four to make one. No. We're not going to do that. It's a waste, a waste of materials. But I've learned my lesson. Now, this, this, I didn't pay attention to this. It's a waste of materials. Alright. So, we need to make another... Gosh darn it. We need to make another tinker's hammer. Engineer's hammer, I mean. So, let's make another engineer's hammer, and then let's finish making these plates. And then we'll make the... All that good stuff. So, loop. Everything but one. Of course. Of course it's everything but one. I should be able to... Be, I should be fine, though, because it makes four at a time. Alright. So, we'll plot these here. Make these. That's good and fantastic. And now I need a stick. So, there's me some cables. And then I'll need some relays and uh, some wire connectors. We're just basically just doing those. Uh, so we need these right out. Um, 
Man, I just use that lava. Like, just, just use it, man. Um, so we have one set of these, and then we'll make a set of these. And then we want to make some, what are they called? Uh, immersive. Okay, we have the aluminum post, we have steel posts, it's a wooden post, I'm guessing. Uh, where's the wooden post? I think it's... I know it's in here somewhere, it's called a post though. Uh, wooden post? Ah, oh, here it is. And it's a stone and treated wood. So the deal is, I don't have any more treated wood. So let's make some more treated wood. After I make a couple of buckets. What the heck was that? What is this rusty handle? Oh yeah, Malice's door's in here. Kind of forgot about that. I mean, I knew, but I didn't remember in the same right. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know. Because I saw it in the list. Because I kind of was curious about what the mods were in this mod pack. So I kind of went in creative mode and like ticked through every single tab. That's why I was like, okay, we have immersive engineering, which, like, oh, that sounds fun to be like immersive engineering again. Uh, we have um, AE, obviously. We have Viney Dimension, which I found out through, like, I guess JEI is the name of this thing. That since just enough items or something like that. It used to be NEI a long time ago. Everybody used NEI. But now it's everybody used JEI. Because NEI is dead. Well, not dead. It's just the fact that it's the old version. Alright, we have another creosote bucket here. Yeah, I really do want to make avail availabilities to do some other things. We need some treated sticks. That's what we need. Alright, so we have treated sticks. Fine. We need some treated um, wood posts. We're going to make a couple. And then we want some stone. That's not stone. I hear a spider. I'm not sure how loud my... I, leave, I don't know exactly how loud I leave my sound. I knew I typically... I don't have it very loud, simply for the fact that I just don't like my game sounds loud. It's just, I guess it is just cobblestone. Or maybe it's stone brick. Is it stone brick then? I made these a long time ago because I made like a city. Okay, stone bricks work. We'll get a couple of these. Right, so we have some wooden posts. I don't have a hammer anymore. It's already gone. So... I think that'll be fine. No, I want the I want the things. I want the hammer. So string, iron, sticks. He's literally above me. I don't know where exactly he is above me, but he's above me. Um so we want to do the string iron sticks thing again and get me another hammer. And I will never use it to make the plates again. I say that, but I, I will. Because I'll have to because Yeah. Unless I can tinker smelt them. Probably I can tinker smelt them, so that'll be fine. Alright, so not the bag of holding the wooden posts. So we'll need to have... We want to have the capacitor... Uh, that I haven't made yet. <laughs> we need to make the capacitor first. So I need the capacitor to route into the side of the the water well, and then we'll have to do it. So let's make the capacitor. So it's MV, MV capacitor. So we needed a block of redstone, a lead, and two electrum. So we need two of these, one of these, one of these. Oh, uh, not the compressed one. No. Alright, so we have that. And we should have everything else we need right here. Okay, MV capacitor. That wasn't hard at all. Alright, so let's hop on over here to this lovely, awesome, good thing. We'll plop it right um, here. Doesn't really matter. And I keep forgetting which one's input and which one's output. 
I guess it actually says input, so blue is input, that means the other color is output. So we'll make that output, which is fantastic. Then we need wire connector here and here. And then we need to connect these. So one thing is, they actually execute you. I guess that's one way to level up your armor. Let's see. 52. It actually ate, like, all the power out. Aww. So I'm getting some. That's fantastic. Um, so let's put some posts. Uh, what's the distance? I forgot the distance on these things. Let's put one next to here, and we'll see if it reaches. I don't think it will, but we will try my darndest to see if it reaches. We'll see. That was way too high. Gosh darn it. I'm, I should have... I should have... Um, there we go. Um, so we need a relay. And we'll see if this reaches. I'm not sure if it will. I think this might be... Yeah, see, look. It can come here. I'm stuck in it. MV relay. This is why the relays are important. Uh, do I have any bricks? I have some treated wood. I have some spruce wood. Here you go. Uh, relay. So we have a wire cable that goes here. Okay, that stretches across. And then we will have an actual dongle here. Which can start stringing this power through. There we go. So they'll start stringing the power into this building. It should have power. I'm not sure if it'll actually say. Ow. I know you do that. Um, so we can now somehow wrap power into the building itself. Maybe it would be better if I did it this way. This is going to kill the power, but that's fine. Maybe if I did it better this way. There we go. Let's route it directly through the cable. And then we have this thing, which is going to be embedded in the wall. Maybe let's see, we'll embed it up here. And we'll make the input on this side. This actually makes sense to have like the. Let's kind of think of this as like the power box on the back of your house. Input. So that's the power box on the side of your house. And then you can make output. So if I bring that machine in here, the, um, the doohickey muffledger, you know, technical terms for the alloy smelter, I can hook the alloy smelter uh, up. With actual power. Hello, chicken. How did you get in here? Uh, we'll plop it here. We can put a power connector there, and then we can hook it up with another power connector here. So now this thing has power and this thing is increasing in power so we have the ability to run powered machines even though these are not um, good things to have in my buildings but that's something for another time when I upgrade those cables but for now they're not upgraded um, but they're they're functional at the same rate. so now we just need to make everything work for us I could as I said upgrade um, other things, but that's fine. So we have the ability, uh, we'll get a chest in here, as soon as I can um, plop things down. I'll have some wires and stuff like that in here, which would be pretty good. That is not the wires. That is my shovel. So we have one machine 
fantastically run off this. Uh, we will probably have to... One thing we probably want to do... Let's, let's change this real quick before I get too, too far into this. We want to have a connector maybe here. We want to have it route into here. I know. Let's fix it right now. Let's have it route into there. It's fine. And then we'll have it connect from here. That way I can power more than one machine off this uh, power bank. Cool. Fantastic. So that's all set up. I guess one thing we can do is we can utilize that power to make a furnace. I think there's several powered furnaces. So let's take a look at powered furnaces. Cause I think having a powered furnace is probably a good idea. So let's check out furnaces. So we can do industrial foregoing furnace, uh, resident furnace, resourceful furnace from industrial foregoing. And we have the industrial craft one, no. Iron furnace, no. Cinder furnace from Twilight Forest, not yet implemented. Hmm. We can do a basic redstone furnace. That's typically what I go to. And I don't know much about the seared furnace thing. That's something I want to look into. But not necessarily at the moment. Sulfur furnace. Dual sulfur furnace. Oh, this is going to be fun. When I get into all that awesome good stuff. But we do have power now, which is one thing I wanted to get into. But we want to get a little power furnace. We'll just go for a redstone furnace. Because I know they're kind of simple and all that good stuff. I say simple, but it takes like 10 years and iron and all that good stuff. Glass. But if I have like a simple redstone furnace, that means I don't have to use coal to, you know, do all that stuff. But we do want to wrap power to my farm. Because my farm will be automated. I didn't notice that weird grain on that. I could put my automation part of it right here. That way I can just relay right off of it and have like an automated like constant. We could do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's do the plant. Let's not the planter. It's a harvester. Harvester. Automatically gentle harvesting. Well, I can actually try and see how that goes. I think that actually is just automated. Forester. Plant saplings and harvest logs. We could try that as well. Um, what is it called? The thing I'm thinking about. There's something I'm thinking about that I forgot what it's called. Um... What's it called? Industrial foregoing? Industrial foregoing. Here it is. It is called... Is it a farmer? Fluid pump. Fluid crafter. That's something to look into in the future. Um, villager trade exchanger. Mob slaughter fabric bot breaker. Sower fertilizer. And it should be gatherer. There you go. This is what we want. A plant gatherer. That way we have an ability to automate um, the magical crop stuff. So I will call it magical crops. You just have to get used to that. Even though I know I know the difference. I've done both a lot. So let's find plant harvester. Plant harvest plant gatherer, it was called. So we need some iron axes. Just one, two. We need two iron axes and an iron hoe. And an iron hoe. Okay, that's fantastic. Then we need a machine case. Did I not have machine cases? It's iron casing. It's a different type of machine case. That's fine. So I need a block of redstone which I should have plenty of. No problem. We have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, plant gatherer. Well, we could use steel casing. Yeah. Yeah, I want to use that steel casing, this super expensive material. We need some gold gears. And we need... Oh, we need plastic. Oh, 
Wow. I wasn't quite expecting to do that. I have to do that yet. So we need plastic. Was it called a latex processing something? I forgot about the plastic. So we need some dry rubber, which is from tiny rubber, which is from the latex processing unit. Which I need iron gears for. Let's make a latex processing unit. That way we can quickly make some plastic. We need the latex processing unit first. There we go. So we need an iron gear. Don't know why that iron axe hopped in there. Um, latex processing unit. We need some furnaces, which I have in here. I'm going to pull that there as well and see if that works in place of everything. There's actually two pages, so it might work. I'm not sure. Um, we may have to make the other type of uh, materials. So we need some redstone. And then we can make this latex processing unit. And then I need I need the stuff that makes um, latex. I know what this does. I need the other material. What was it called? The plastic. The 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 sap stuff. I know I need uh, fluid latex, fluid water. Oh, I need water in it too. I just had to manually put it in there. So I need fluid latex. I need the What's this machine called again? It's industrial foregoing. There's a machine. Industrial foregoing. It's a machine that sucks out plastic. Resource fissures. I could try to get a black hole unit. I don't even want to try that. Sower, feeder, mop crusher. Enchantment soda. Some of these things that I don't have. Uh, food crafter, hydrator. I know it's in here somewhere. I do know. Spores reactor. Man, I need to look in these. Um, some of this stuff. Latex processing unit. Ah, oh, here it is. Tree fluid extractor. Stone, redstone. Fantastic. I knew there's a tree fluid extractor. It's an extractor. I did it in my last thing. It's still up and running. The uh, I still have the server, so I haven't quit the game, per se. Even though I don't know if I'll go back. I hate saying I've just flat out quit uh, the Mech and Magic Mod Pack. But the fact that I can... I feel like I can do more here. And not really doing any more. Not yet, anyway, because I'm kind of like back to where I was. But I feel like I can do more. Maybe because I was having issues with uh, certain mods not working um, correctly. Mob spawns not happening, or spawn not happening, and all that good stuff. But I feel like I can do more. Even though I know it's just... I just feel that way. Um, you do not face that way. I need you to face... Ow, ow, ow. Note self. Don't jump in the air. I need you to face this way. Because we have this thing that wants to eat some wood. Okay, let's go get some wood. Let's go get some lovely, awesome wood for the thing. Which would be pretty fantastic. Yeah, I really need to get some hemp growing as well. So that's the thing uh, that I need to be aware of. Um, any wood, any wood, any type of wood. I'm not sure if some of these woods will work. So let's just try some... Uh, iron. I'm uh, not iron. I was going to say iron wood tree, but I got oak. I know oak works. So that's no big deal. So we just stick this log in front of that machine. That machine will go chomp, 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 chomp. And it'll be fantastic. So it should be sucking in some latex. And now we want the latex. To extract. So I need fluid piping. Fluid ducts. Maybe I should have left a gap. I can still do this. Ow. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this? Why are you being mean to me? Okay. 
We also need some more um, connectors. Even though I said they're being mean to me, so that's something to be expected, I suppose. Why is my right click drag not working? Alright, so we have yeah, I really I really think this one needs to exist. I'm not stupid enough to do that. I don't know why they're separate, but they are. So let's route this down into here, route this down into here. So now these machines are getting power. So now we need a fluid duct. I don't know if I have any more. They're probably be stored. So let's do that. I really need to sort my chests. Uh, fluid duct. Just one is fine. I'm gonna have to make that servo thing to make it work, but that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Um, so we need this to, yeah, we need this um, servo thing. So let's go make a servo. Sleep soon. So I just need a basic servo, nothing big. So it's two iron nuggets, two iron things, and a glass. I'm just running back and forth playing machines right now. Nothing big. Nothing fantastic. Um, so let's having two iron nuggets, two iron and redstone, and that would make me a lovely, awesome servo. Which I'll be able to plop that on, make the rubber as soon as I get some water. Which I'll just pop down to the river and grab. We'll worry about making infinite water and having a water pump in like a reservoir and stuff. Because we can make the reservoir from Ender.io. And we can pump it in from there. Should be pretty good. I'm not sure if the Pam's Harvest Craft uh, well will let me pump out of it. We can try. But that'll be for another time. Alright. And then we want to ignore redstone. And that'll pump over the liquid latex. And the liquid latex will make the rubber. Which is not enough. Alright. So, so let's sleep. It's why? Because I'm in a doorway? That was weird. That was weird. Alright. So. Good. Awesome. Fantastic. So. We have a lot of stuff in our inventory. We need more of this. I actually ate that rather quickly. I guess because I just underestimated the fact that it would need a lot to make it. Uh, I don't need this much. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm having a day with uh, placing stuff. And I don't have my axe in my inventory. So that's another thing that's being uh, a little bit of a problem. So, it's always, it's always to be considered, I guess. All right, so we need a block placer to place blocks in front of this machine. So while I'm waiting on some dry little rubber dots, we'll do a block prep block placer and get this kind of semi-automated. That way it just makes a whole bunch of liquid latex. I just need a simple block placer. There's a thing that's automated. Here it is. We need a dispenser. I just needs a bow and redstone and cobblestone. And iron and a cobble. A bow, a redstone, and cobblestone. So that should be all I need to make this thing. So um, we will... what the heck? What the heck are you doing? So we need this first. Then we need this. And then we need... Um, what is this? Stone. Like actual smooth stone. We have that. And then we can get this thing working. Because we can just tell it to ignore redstone as well and just function all the time. 
should be fine. And it is behind this block. There we go. Uh, always on. There we go. Place that block. There we go. And it'll work forever. Cool. So we need 18 total. Which means I need water. Uh, we can look into an infinite water ability because now we have infinite, you know, a wood placing ability. Is this counted as infinite? No. Blurp, blurp. We'll just put an infinite source close closer by. It'll just be convenient to just go ahead and do it. And then we won't have to worry about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All the time. It's not horrible, but still. We'll just put one literally... Um, why am I putting it on this side when the machine that I'm trying to infinite, infinitize is right here. Oh shoot. I didn't want to put the water in there. So that's it. Anyway. So I, I'm down a bucket of water. That's fine. I'll go grab another one and we'll make it infinite then. Oh, that's some clay right there. The salt and clay. To be pretty fantastic to gather all that clay. Because I need the clay. I need the clay for quite a few things. So that's going to make the kitchen stuff and all that good stuff. But temporarily, we'll just do this until I can think of a way to automate the whole um, placement of the water in there. Uh, so we're getting there. We're almost to the point where we can make um, enough plastic. It, it makes the plastic rather quickly once you have it supplied and automated, but I just don't have it automated. That's the problem. Oh, we're at 18. We're good. So it's, that's good. We're fine. We're good now. Ow. Yeah, I've got to fix that. I've got to get those wires, which means I need more hemp fiber. Fiber. So when I get this automation, I don't know. If, I don't know if it'll just do one or if it'll do like a three by three. That's something I need to take into consideration. Oh, uh, we got to craft it into little blobs, and then we have to cook it into plastic. So that's something I need to do. Uh, we'll just toss in some charcoal. Oh, I, I was wondering why I didn't have any coals, and then I realized that I moved them. I don't know why that drawer is still there, knowing I don't need it. Be some plastic, and there'll be another plastic. I really need to sort my materials and stuff. So it's plant gatherer. Surprised I remember some of these things. So we need Um, I have a simple machine, Chasey? I shouldn't. It's saying I have a simple machine um thing. I do. So we'll just use that. That's fine. I'm not that concerned about it. So now we have a plant gatherer that will temporarily s to save having to do the wires and everything. We're going to plop it here. And we'll see it range by... Where's the range? Gathering anything, show working area. Okay, so it is just one. But that's fine. As long as I have one, I'm fine with it. So let's get a block of water so the item will actually plant. We're going to put the water here. 
uh, right here next to it. Now it's out of the way. And then we want to connect this up. Because it needs power. So now this should be powered. So let's go gather up the crop that we need, which is this one. I mean, I could do the same thing with hemp. But we really want to get this inferium going. This is all for ministerial agriculture. So we need a hoe. I probably have a hoe, but let's just make one real quick. Because I have the materials here on me. I may have depleted the hoe. I don't know. I'll have to do some tidying in my inventory because it's a horrible mess right now. And that is fine. So now we have this going. I can't bone mill it so I can't see it work, but hey, you just have to take my word for it that it works. And we can actually increase uh, its radius with a simple upgrade. So that's something I probably want to do. Uh, this is industrial for going. So it's upgrade. Upgrade. Now I can do hemp as well. Because so if I can do the hemp upgrade, conveyor extractor. No. That's not the upgrade we're looking for. Mm -mm. Bouncing upgrade. Um, what were they called again? I want to figure out this boot thing as well. So that's something I probably need to actually read about. It's just something that I would like to... I want to try uh, a different meth mythology of... Uh, what is it called? Tin upgrade? Let's just go industrial for grain. Uh, I want to try a different type of mob farm. Because I always do the same kind of mob farm. And yeah, I, I don't I don't want to do the same kind of mob farm like forever because it's it's kind of annoying to do that. So we need more plastic. More and more and more. Um oops. I I need this water block, thank you. So basically I know the root mod allows you to basically make a mob farm that's different. So that's something as I said I wanna get into because I don't like having the same mod I don't want to do the same setup that I've been like a few thousand times. Um, I know ways to do it, but I don't want to do it like fifty thousand times over the same thing over and over and over and over again. I'm bad about sticking in a rut. That's why I was like, I'm going to do immersive tech, do some power with it, and just make a cool looking little um, place. Build a nice little house on the hill, build little buildings off the side, and do astral sorcery, which we'll probably get back to uh, as, soon as, as, soon as soon as I can do this. As soon as I get an upgrade, which is very soon, um, we will be able to do that. So let's do this. Let's make two more plastics and we'll make a range upgrade. And we will have the ability we'll have the ability to increase the range that way I can put the hemp fibers there. That way we can automate more stuff. We'll get one of the little worms to I'll just go hold the ground outside. So uh, that's something to be aware of. So we're going to do the We'll do the iron one. Because why not? So it was the tier two. I need glass paint. I probably don't have enough glass to do that. I do not have enough glass. I have enough glass for nothing. Is there any glass in here? No. So I need some gl glass. I don't have any sand. Let's go gather a tiny bit of sand. It's something always kind of funny when you're like trying to do some stuff. It's like, okay, I need this. Oh, I can't, I can't do it because I'm out of the other thing that I need. 
Um, there should be some sand somewhere around here. There has to be some sand. This is where I found some clay. I dig pretty fast underwater because of my night slime shovel. Because night, sh night slime makes you dig pretty fast and fantastically. Alright, so we're almost done with this, which means as soon as I get this range of gray, which means we've successfully enhanced it, we've said enhanced farming, we have powered farming, which is pretty nifty and pretty great all at the same time. Or well, I think so anyway. So we'll have all that going at a fantastic rate. I just cook, cook with that because I don't have a powered furnace. I just need enough glass um, to make the paints, which we need three more. Come on, give me enough glass. I could store away everything just to clear this mess in my inventory. There we go. I feel better now. I feel much better. My, my inventory was getting slightly um, messy. Of course, I did store the iron. There we go. Come on, one more glass. There we go. Cool. Um, not that first, this first. So I'm going to make glass panes. Then we put the glass here. And then we put the iron here. And make a mess. And we need the plastic up and down, and that gives me the range add-on. They're called add-ons. That's why I was unable to find them, because they're considered add-ons, not upgrades. Okay, so that makes it a ow, 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 five by five. So let's go get the hemp. I'm out of food. Um, we'll get the hemp so we can get the hemp fibers, and the fibers are fantastic, so that's what we'll do. Now, as I said, we'll eventually move it down here and utilize this entire uh, farm, but right now I'm more concerned about getting the things I need. Because I don't really need um, certain things. I don't really need that much of certain things. Has it functioned yet? It has not. But I can show you where it working. I'll have to just get some bone meal. I'm out of food though. Can't run. So I can't run anymore. But we can show it working by simply bone milling the hemp. In fact I want to see how it works with the hemp. Because it might not function correctly with the hemp. So let's see what the hemp actually does. Uh, meanwhile I'll get some... We should have some food around here. We should have some food. I'm pretty sure we have some food. We have some steak. I don't like not being able to run. Especially when I'm just crafting and, and working around the house. Alright, fantastic. So. So let's see how this functions with the hemp. Are you going to harvest it? So it doesn't work with the hemp, apparently. Did it work that time? Oh, it did. Okay. Okay, so it is working. Okay, fantastic. So it does work with this hemp. So now I can get um, plenty of hemp fibers um, from this thing, which allows me to upgrade different immersive things, including insulating this stupid wire that keeps shocking me. Um, so that's something to be considerate of. So I have the ability to auto-get hemp. I have the ability to auto-harvest this thing. Um, it just takes a really long time. As I said, I do need to find another worm. There we go. And we can plop it down in the center of it. That way they grow a little faster. That should be pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here, but that's been a long mission running. We have power that we wanted to create for the power to run an automated farm. We now have the power. We have the ability to make the machines with power. 
And then we have the ability to plop down the wood that makes the things that makes the things that makes the automated farm. And we have wires strung across. So we have power. That's fantastic. So it's not the most efficient setup in the world. I don't even know how much power is actually uh, in here. It looks like this thing's pretty much taking all of it. Eh, it seems to be okay, though. It seems to be pretty stable. We're already up to a good bit of things. So next time, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go mine a lot of things. Like, I mean, like a ton of things. That way, I have the ability to upgrade my hammer to where I can mine the rock crystals and. Yeah, it's just wanting to get ahead in Astral Sorcery because there's several things that I want to do in Astral Sorcery that I can't do until I have the ability to one, mine, the, mine the crystals because I can't do anything. Uh, well, I, mean, I can do some stuff, but I really want to be able to um, get that. I still got the recipe for sooty marble in there. That's fine. It's fantastic. But we've done some stuff. We've done some fantastic stuff. We can get it executed if we want to. Let's just hop in here and get, bounce back. But yeah. I like it. I like it very much. So we have utilized this thing as a pseudo thing here. We've made it kind of our machine house. We'll put the, as I said, we'll put the other machine here, the blast furnace, and we'll have steel being automatically created. But right now we have coal coke being created so I can make steel. Pretty fantastic. But I'm going to work, do some work off camera. I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the nether. I'm going to find this nether fortress that I need to find because I need blaze rods and we can let this run because that's what it needs to be done is just let it run and then we'll, we'll go I'll go forth as I said I'll mine a bunch of stuff to level up my hammer and then we'll have the ability to mine the astral sorcery ore, the rock crystal ore and yeah I need to do some farming, I need to do some mining I need to do some hunting so yeah there's a lot of things I need to do but the fact that we have power and some type of automation stuff working, uh, I'm really pleased about it. I didn't know I can kind of went down the path a little slower than I normally would, but I was having fun just kind of goofing off, doing different things, not worrying about particularities. Um, so, yeah, I've quite enjoyed just taking my time, spending a while building and doing some other things. Um, so anyway, this is a good place, I believe, to end it, and we will continue next time. Um, ow. Don't know why I keep getting executed there. We'll continue next time. Having a nice, lovely, fun, awesome time. And I'll have this thing right here working a little bit more more better. I know that's not how you say that, but it's fine. But we'll get this uh, functioning. We want this to not be there. As I said, I'll get some more crops going, that way I can automate maybe like getting enough food to feed my sheep and stuff. But yeah, I'll work on that off camera. So I'm going to do some stuff off camera, and I'll see you next time. Bye!